rotator cuff with your knees, okay? So a lot of people start to brush their rotator out with their knees. What that means is their first motion is they do this, okay? You don't want that to happen. You want your first motion to do this. You guys see the difference? See how much smaller this is going to be than this? So if you start your breaststroke kick out like this, your kick is going to be like this. But if you start it out like this, you got to bring your heel all the way out like that and kick really, really wide to do a breaststroke kick. All right? You guys all understand what I'm saying? We get a little bit? Okay. The next thing I'm going to go over before we get in and start swimming around a little bit is the breaststroke pull. How many people think it's a good idea to have a big breaststroke pull? Everybody put your hands up. You're all right again. Okay, the pull is the exact opposite of the kick, all right? So you have a small kick, you want to have a big pull, all right? Pretend like I'm looking down a lane right now, okay? When you start your pull, you don't want to start your in-sweep until you're basically pointing your fingers at the lane ropes. Okay? That's how big you want your pull to be. All right? You don't want to stop here and then do your in-sweep. You want to stop way, way out here and do your in-sweep. Okay? So it's a big pull and a small kick. All right? Everybody say big pull and small kick. Okay. We're going to get in and once they go past, we're just going to go about halfway out and back. Some in freestyle, just to get going again. You don't want to do breaststroke without warming yourself up a little bit. So everybody jump up. And all I want you guys to do is just go out to the red buoy and come back. And then we'll start doing some breaststroke drills, all right? Come back in where it's shallow enough where you can stand, all right? <laughs>